Live look now at the East Room of the White House. Within this news hour, we've heard from Republican Mitch McConnell, who's next in line to be the Senate Majority Leader, and he said in that news conference it would be a mistake for President Obama to take unilateral moves on immigration. But McConnell said there are areas of agreement between the White House and the Senate. Here's Everybody the president to talk about how he sees things yesterday. Today I had a chance to speak with John Boehner and congratulated Mitch McConnell on becoming the next Senate Majority Leader. And I told them both that I look forward to finishing up this Congress's business and then working together for the next two years to advance America's business. And I very much appreciated Leader McConnell's words last night about the prospect of working together to deliver for the American people. Uh, on Friday, I look forward to hosting the entire Republican and Democratic leadership at the White House uh, to chart a new course forward. Now, obviously, Republicans had a good night, and they deserve credit for running good campaigns. Uh, beyond that, I'll leave it uh, to all of you and the professional pundits to pick through yesterday's results. Uh, what stands out to me, though, is that uh, the American people sent a message, uh, one that they've sent for several elections now. They expect the people they elect to work as hard as they do. They expect us to focus on their ambitions and not ours. They want us to get the job done. All of us in both parties have a responsibility to address that sentiment. Uh, still, as President, I have a unique responsibility to try and make this town work. So to everyone who voted, I want you to know that I hear you. To the two-thirds of voters who chose not to participate in the process yesterday, I hear you too. All of us have to give more Americans a reason to feel like the ground is stable beneath their feet, that the future is secure, that there's a path for young people to succeed, and that folks here in Washington are concerned about them. So I plan on spending every moment of the next two plus years doing my job the best I can to keep this country safe and to make sure that more Americans share in its prosperity. Now, this country has made real progress since the crisis six years ago. The fact is more Americans are working. Unemployment has come down. More Americans have health insurance. Manufacturing has grown. Our deficits have shrunk. Our dependence on foreign oil is down, as are gas prices. Our graduation rates are up. Our businesses aren't just creating jobs at the fastest pace since the 1990s. Our economy is outpacing most of the world.